Hello there ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a new video series I'm going to try and do on a weekly basis to kind of take the place of the uh, streams and stuff I was doing. Uh, we're going to re be reacting or addressing the comments field where I'm going to take a choice selection of your comments, questions, concerns, and answer them right here in this video. I'm going to try and do it every single week. Uh, so let's get started without further ado. By the way, this will actually give me a good uh, opportunity to kind of call some people out to the carpet here and show you, the viewer, uh, my vetting process for what we call trolls. There are some pretty clever ones out there these days. They get more clever and more clever. Now, I'm not saying that this individual is that, but they're very suspect. So this individual's name is Kevin Koch. And the first comment that they left was about a week ago, this being August 25th, 2022. And they said, my friend, I need your help in gaining more knowledge and I need it in a hurry. Can we chat live sometime? Now, when I see a comment like that, it, it really, it tells me that this individual has not watched any videos on my channel. Because if they did, they would know that the correct venue to contact me to apply for a workshop is jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Matter of fact, the video that he commented on, I say it in every video, including the one he commented on, so he didn't even watch the entire video. Also, if he would have read the video description, he would have seen that as well, my email address. Uh, so I responded, as I state, in all of my videos and listed in all video descriptions, the correct venue to apply for a workshop is, and then I give my email address, and then I say thank you. Then, he must have went through and watched more videos because he went back to a video that I published quite a while ago on the part of speech conjunction, zero, which you can see the parts of speech back there. And he simply says, you typed it in wrong. You typed conju conjunction, not conjunction. So I saw this comment and I went and I looked at the, the video that he commented on, watched the entire video, and I did not see what he was talking about. So then I read the description and I still didn't see what he was talking about. So then I responded to him. I said, thank you. Please leave a timestamp and location to verify your claim so that I may find the typo and correct it. In the meantime, I'll gift you a syntax lesson. So then I went through and uh, syntaxed his fiction comment, his fiction babble comment. And he did not respond to that at all. Just like he didn't respond to the first Kuliana that I offered him. So then I asked, if anyone else knows what this fellow is talking about, please share a timestamp. Thank you. Because I want to correct it. If it, if it is a, a typo, I want to correct it. Then, eventually, uh, I think it was yesterday, he commented, unfortunately, your videos are still too difficult to understand for the lay man. So then I said, fortunately... There are over 400 videos of all levels, from beginner to advanced. Also, if you're serious about learning correct sentence structure, I offer one-on-one -on -one workshops. Email me, and then I give my email address for the second time. And I've taught hundreds of people over the past five years, all of different knowledge levels. Your comment leads me to think you haven't really watched too many of my videos. Or, or, based upon his non kuliana his complete lack of acknowledgement of my previous offers of responses to his comments leads me to believe that he may be one of these trolls just on here poking around 
Because that you know that those are are warning signs to me. If someone is not responding back when you answer them, if they ask you a question and you answer it, and they don't acknowledge that or continue the conversation, and then they just throw another comment out there or another sentence out there as if the first one didn't exist, then that tells me they're not paying either. They are they have an extreme lack of social sensitivity, or they're not here to learn grammar. They're just here to troll. So, Kevin Koch, which are you? You have not contacted me via email, which I have offered you twice. You said you needed to learn the grammar. You sounded very urgent. I offered you a venue. You didn't contact me. And then you commented a couple more times. And the next comment uh, comes from the longtime uh, participant in the comments field of this channel, Mitchell Smith. He's been commenting for at least three years. And he puts a colon, a space, and then a bracket. And then he says, I am speaking to you in this manner so that we may communicate. Thank you, my friend. I seek to enter your platform only with a positive volition. I tried to ask this question once before, but I could not correspond clear enough. I do not follow anything just because someone else does it. The closure I was giving that made sense to me was if the colon was right next to the first letter in the sentence, it would be crowded. But at the same time, I concur with you as well. So I'm still confused. Example. And then he gives a couple examples, and then he says, are you with the comprehend, my friend? This individual, uh, I've done a video on him before. It's very puzzling uh, <clears throat> the way that he approaches. Sorry for my, my voice. I'm, I have a little cold going on here. Um, he's been on this channel for three years. I have offered him video consultations in the past, multiple times. He has never once contacted me for that. He has contacted me on behalf of someone else in the past. And I offered him a video consultation. And again, he did not acknowledge it, nor um, he, he didn't even write back. So... He does not want to step onto the geometric level playing field with me. And that tells me a lot about someone. I've given, <clears throat> I gave him closure in several different comments with a couple different videos that he can look at for my closure on the colon and the colon mechanics and how it works with regards to the mathematical interface on this grammar. The explanation he's giving there it makes sense in terms of the context of letters and words and those types of spacings. But the colon is not a letter and it's not a word. It's a symbol. So it has a different function than a letter or a word. So I'll leave it at that. You can go and just type in conjunction, do a YouTube search on my channel and you will find multiple videos giving you all the closure necessary to understand the mechanics of the full colon if you choose to use it in your correct sentence structure. And Mitchell's been here for three years. So this also, just like the Kevin individual before, this also leads me to be very suspect of this individual with their behavior and the way they leave comments. Next comment comes from someone named Lone Rangers with an explanation point. Please forgive me for my ignorance. I am actively studying. I just had a question about the sick SIC in brackets listed behind some of the words on the syntax key as well as in the title of this video. What does that stand for and mean? And I responded to the Lone Ranger directing him towards Google. Him or her, sorry. I don't know what uh, if it's male or female. Towards Google. 
Folks, Google is a wonderful resource. And if you just simply type in, what does SIC mean? Google will tell you what it means. And whatever Google says is probably going to be pretty close to the way I use it. If you notice, correct sentence structure mechanics, the grammar mechanics, uh, the symbology of it and things like that, most of those things function in correct sentence structure the same way they function in the fiction grammar. Suffice to say that you see sick behind me there behind, you know, uh, adverb, adjective, pronoun, because those words are no contract words, and I know they're no contract words. And sick, long, long story short, means that I'm aware that that's what it is, but I'm putting it up as is for the ease of the communication. Knowing that it's not correct, I'm putting it up there acknowledging that I'm towing that word as a salvage for the ease of the communication, just to put it, you know, point blank. Next comment comes from someone named colon space Clive hyphen Albert period. And they say, colon Jason, to be fair, you are a man that sometimes acts as a grammar tutor. And I did a, a couple responses here. Uh, the first one I say, Clive, sick, because the way he wrote his name there with the colon and the space is not correct. So to tie it in with what the little lesson I gave before about the SIC, I put SIC after his name. As I state in the beginning of every podcast, it's a podcast of opinion. So it must have been a, a quantum grammar shoot that he was uh, commenting on. I'm pretty sure it was the one about titles. One may only make claims for oneself. So what I'm saying to him is that he's telling me, he's trying to tell me what I'm doing. And that's a no-no. With correct sentence structure, the psychology of it, the correct psychology of it, you would never do that because that's a trespass. That's presumptive. It's condescending. And it's a trespass. Telling someone else what they are or aren't is a presumption and a trespass. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, contact me, blah, blah, blah. And then I syntax his sentence and so on and so forth. Clive, I, I don't act as anything. There is no acting going on here. I claim a title of grammar tutor. That's the whole point of this entire 400 plus video channel. I mean, I don't know what you got going on on your channel, how many videos you have, how many people you've taught, how long you've been studying this. Um, I'd have to guess that you haven't been studying very long if you're making such an egregious presumption on your part. And again, Clive did not respond to that, did not ask for a apply for a workshop or anything like that so is what it is thanks for commenting clive yin o m commented i have a difficult time watching this and the video he's referring to is the video that is now in the members section about mitchell smith the individual i mentioned earlier he says I'm guessing the question in this video is to the effect of how or why does this happen? And Ian, that is actually not correct. I actually state point blank what the question is in the video, which is, what do you, the member, think Mitchell Smith is? Do you think he's a troll or do you think he's just being nascent? I specifically and very clearly, I thought, state the question. So I'm not sure where you're coming up with, with that one. And then Ian goes on to address his assumption of what the question is. Incorrect assumption. It is simply the behavior of not self or fraudulent thinking when someone doesn't know who and what they truly are. Well, Ian, I'd have to say that only the individual would know that. Meaning, you couldn't tell me 
whether I know who or what I truly am. That would be a trespass. Well, one when you may only make claims for oneself. So if you say that about yourself, then I agree wholeheartedly. But if you're saying that to someone else, then that's a trespass. Until the mind has recognized its place as passive observer, it may attempt to function as mental authority, also known as a dishonest and disintegrated human being. It sounds to me as if you are postulating some sort of philosophical belief system. Um, the term passive observer, for example, like you're saying, you're making a statement that the mind is a passive observer, which I can see how that could be true in certain scenarios. But if you're making a claim for yourself that your mind is a passive observer, that's cool. But if you're saying that everyone's mind is a passive observer, now you're kind of getting into the trespass uh, domain. The actual mechanisms behind form principle, most people refer to it as the human design system or just human design. Oh, okay. So Ian, I know you're a good guy. Uh, we've done a workshop. Uh, we've gone back and forth a few times. This is not the place to advertise or promulgate any personal belief systems, you know, spiritual, religious, philosophical, whatever it is, is not the place to do that. This is about the grammar. This is not about uh, philosophy, so to speak. So please keep that in mind. Uh, I published your comment because it is on the, uh, the members video. However, I'm using it as an example for other viewers who come on here who may, you know, make that error because that's a violation of the terms and conditions of this vessel. And also, if you comment, I believe that there is a some sort of thing you can click on that actually shows the terms and conditions of the comments field. So you can educate yourself, cultivate your knowledge on on the terms and conditions of the uh, comment field. So uh, thanks, Ian, for the comment. Next comment. Bill Hermosa says, the numbers are not correct. I wanted to catch this later and it's blocked only for the highest level of membership that I currently don't have as I have the initial one offered. I couldn't watch it live at the time. Unfortunately, I missed out like other videos. And then I responded, yes, if you just want to support the channel and give back, tier one is for you. If you want exclusive content and to contribute, tier two is for you. I explained this in several videos and posts. Thank you for your membership. So to elaborate on that, uh, there are only two levels of membership. There's the tier one and then there's tier two. Tier two, uh, as I said, I make it quite clear that tier two has access to content like this that's not available to the public. Um, you gift a little more value in tier two and so you get a little more value back. Rule one, rule equal. Tier one is for those people who just want to say thank you for the over 400 videos that I've put on here and the thousands of hours that I've uh, invested in this. Just say, hey, you know, I support you and I want this vessel to continue the way it is. And so th that's the difference between the tiers. And I'm very grateful for both. So, Bill, I hope that uh, clears that up for you. So the last comment comes from Lawrence Fontenot, who says, very powerful information, Mr. Glass. Are you with the postmaster title? And then I respond, before I answer that, there are no misters necessary. You may call me Jason. By the way, do you know what a postmaster is? From your question, my guess is that you do not. Either way, either that or you did not watch the entire video. And to give you a little closure on that, Lawrence, the reason why I said either that or you did not watch the entire video is because if you would watch the entire video all the way to the end, you will see my C Pass C Treaty. And you will see that I have autographed over the stamp, the Red Fox stamp, on that C Pass C Treaty. Do you know what that means? <laughs> and then I share. A cor my correct sentence structure finite meaning for postmaster 
which is for the postmaster of this finite mean is with this claim of this claimant with the placement of the autographs with the stamp on the front cover page top starboard side corner with the autographs and an or stamp of the back cover page top center with the document contracts of the charter vessel with this authorization by this master and author and authority and claimant so i've just told you what a postmaster is for your edification and knowledge cultivation Quite simply, Lawrence, a postmaster, in its most basic rudimentary sense, is someone who autographs over a stamp and is a master of the post. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, the first edition of the Clarity and Closure on the Comments. I uh, hope you enjoyed it again. Feel free to flood the comments section with whatever questions you have. I would appreciate it if you kept it to the topic of the grammar because this is a correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar oriented channel. We don't go into personal belief systems. We don't go into preaching about this, that, or the third. No conspiracy theories, no soap operas, no drama. Just the grammar for those who are serious about learning a very, very very powerful technology if you're interested in applying for a workshop contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation which establishes geometric level playing field I will provide the location as it is you who wants something from me you would necessarily have to agree to my terms and conditions if you don't Thanks for watching. Salute.